So it's been a little minute. I kind of feel like every video recently um, has started with that um, because I keep having these like massive long breaks. I went through a stage kind of, I don't know, like 2019, early 2020, where I was like consistently putting videos out. Um, and then for an awful lot of reasons, kind of that stopped uh, and that consistency kind of wasn't there anymore. Um, but I wouldn't say I'm back back, but I'm definitely here for a few more videos for a little bit. Um, life and, and work specifically has been really, really busy. I always get asked at the minute, like, how did you get through, you know, the pandemic and like, how's work been? And, you know, is work starting to pick up? And actually, in reality, I've been very, very lucky. There's an awful lot of uh, sports photographers out there and creatives and photographers in general out there who still technically aren't back. Um, they're still not working in the um, kind of volumes of work uh, and with the clients that they used to uh, quite as much. Basically, I had nothing from August till, sorry, from April to August 2020 during the pandemic. And then as elite and professional sport came back, everything really started to open up. And actually, since sort of February time, um, I've basically been flat out busy, which is a great thing. So basically for the last few months, um, an, an awful lot of my time day to day, weekend to weekend um, and events and stuff has been taken up by being one of the only um, photographers for the Vitality Netball Super League here in the UK. That's involved basically working behind closed doors in two venues over the last I think we're about 17, 18 weeks into it now uh, for the season. We've got 104 games apparently, I think. Um, that are basically run through the season. We've run half the season up in a uh, big arena venue rehearsal space in Wakefield. And then we are running the second half of the season down in the Copper Box in London. And it's been really manic. I am doing an awful lot of traveling. The days that I'm working are really, really long. Essentially, when I've come back from a weekend working away, I'm basically dead for a few days because kind of creatively and physically, there's an awful lot of demands on me and my time and my creative capacity, I guess, um, in order to kind of make those weekends happen. There's an awful lot of responsibility on the shoulders to make sure um, for this season, because it's behind closed doors, because... As a sport, we're doing this massive production and we're in control of a lot of stuff that goes out from a content and imagery point of view. There's like a real pressure to kind of get it right week in, week out. And, you know, making sure not only are we ticking the boxes, but we're making the sport look really special. And we're trying to like raise the image profile of the game, if you will. So like that's that's consumed an awful lot of my time. When I haven't been doing that, um, I've actually been working on the Premier 15s or the Allianz Premier 15s uh, Women's Rugby League um, and doing an awful lot of work with Loughborough Lightning. We've gone all the way through the season um, and we've just been basically uh, beaten in the semi-finals. But that was an awful lot of my time as well. There was a lot of time spent this season with the squad. Not only doing match photos, but doing kind of like behind the scenes photos and bits of behind the scene video. So like that creatively has been quite a heavy thing. As we dip into, we're nearly in June, I mean this is 26th of uh, May that I'm recording this as we dip into June like my triathlon work starts back up so there's already sort of like some wheels in motion for making sure I'm like testing and all that kind of stuff and I want to do some videos with regards to that in the next couple of weeks so that you can kind of maybe see a little bit behind the scenes about um, how that works one of the important things that I don't think a lot of people see looking outside in is 
yeah sports back um and yes there's lots of bits and pieces that are happening and you know we're in the uk here and fans are slowly being allowed to be back um in arenas but what a lot of people don't see is the amount of testing and the amount of protocols and you know i get temperature checked when i'm in a venue like at least twice um I'm testing once a week minimum, depending on what I'm doing. Like there's an awful lot of stuff. So like life's been really busy, like work's been really, really busy. And and then around those things, there's been an, a lot of commercial projects that have been going on, a lot of commercial photo shoots that have been happening. And, you know, generally that's been really, really busy, which is a great thing. And I'm not going to sit here and complain about it because you know, I'm incredibly lucky and it's it's ace, but sort of like creatively from a content point of view, from a not being in front of a camera point of view, like it's been really hard. Um, like I said before, like I'll come back from, you know, a week's worth of nonstop work and then just basically collapse on the sofa because I've got no energy for a few days and it takes a while to recuperate that. Um, while I haven't quite, don't think I've found the work-life balance particularly good at the minute, what I would like to be able to do in the next couple of weeks is start feeding some more content through um, through the channels, through both uh, YouTube and bits and pieces. There's a new podcast coming out that I'm doing, um, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that because that's a really good one. Um, there's some really interesting bits and pieces that are happening sort of like on the podcast scene. So, you know, if you feel like, audio is the way to go for you you know I'll, I'll share some links and bits and pieces down below of podcasts that i've done and um, in the next couple of weeks once the podcast that i'm kind of joint hosting shall we say um is up and running i'll make sure that i'm putting out um some content for that as well there's also going to be um some kind of new webinar slash course stuff that i'd like to do Last year, I kind of gave back and put the Udemy course together, um, which has been a huge success. And, you know, the feedback and stuff that I've had from everybody for that has has been immense. And, you know, I can't thank you all enough. It's been ace. But I'd like to kind of like move that on a little bit and do some other bits and pieces. Um, I'm in the middle of teaching a four week course at the moment for some sports photography stuff. And it's kind of got me back in that zone of wanting to create some content and wanting to teach and want to like pass some stuff down because, um, you know, I think it is important. Um, so that's really where I've been. It's less of a kind of I'm going to do all this stuff um, and I'm going to teach you all these things in this video right now. I'm more of just like a catch up of like where I've been and what I've been doing. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll know that like I am really busy, like every single week. There's new lots and lots of new stuff coming out all the time. And I've put on bits and pieces on like Instagram reels and stories and stuff of like behind the scenes of things that I'm doing. So like I'll keep continuing to do that. But what I want to do is spend more time now as the year goes through, kind of like sitting down and like talking through some stuff with you, like my workflows change quite a bit. Um, my kit bag's not changed greatly, um, but I might well go back in and do like another what's in my bag. There's been some interesting additions to kit that I've got in the last little while, which um, might be a bit left field, but will probably be quite interesting to some of you and definitely useful to you for some. Um, but there's just been an, an awful lot going on. And, and if I'm honest, there was a creative slump where I was a bit like, I just don't know what content to put out. And it's been great that people have put some recommendations into me privately and stuff. Um, but like, I've just not felt like me sitting down in front of a camera has really been um, the thing that I wanted to do to kind of utilize my time. But I would like to get back to it because when it was all rocking and rolling and the channel was doing really, really well and I was putting lots and lots of video out, it was actually really good. Um, you know, it was a good place to be. So yeah, fingers crossed. That's kind of the plan. This is, that's where I am. This is what I've been doing. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, there'll be some more videos coming really, really soon. Um, and hopefully everybody's getting on pretty well. Like there's there's a few followers to the channel, a few just subscribers to the channel that I kind of like keep an, an eye on from social. And like, I know you're back and shooting and you're doing some really, really cool stuff. So that's great. Like feel free to drop a comment uh, down below and kind of let me know how your work's going at the minute and like how your photography's going. Like, are you back? What are you doing? All of that kind of stuff it would be really, really great to know. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great rest of your week. I promise there'll be more stuff coming. Stay tuned. Hit subscribe, hit follow, check me out on Instagram, see you soon.